1893. Okay. I'm not ready to talk to you guys yet. Um, let me go back to my crib. Digger Street. I need something to work with here. Anything new on the front page? Anything political going on? Playing Fallout 4 actually. Once I might start a uh, save for streaming once um, Fallout DLC comes out. The first one with the robotic companions. Um, one second. Still reading stuff. Where am I? The game looks pretty good, actually. Um, and analyze metal. It even kind of reminds me of the way that um, Layers of Fear looked. This is a piece of metal taken from a brazier. It, it appears is. to be silver, but I need to be sure. If it is silver, it will be possible to melt it, since silver's melting point is at around 900 degrees Celsius. Well, what does the blazer burn at? With a silver penny by testing it with acid. If it changes color to match the result of a reaction with a silver coin, then it is silver. Okay, get the acid. A pipe. Uh, what's this over here? I can't even forget, I can't tell. Whatever. Come here, acid. Drop some acid. So it turned a red color. Same color. The action is the same red stain. It is silver. Britannia silver quality. Okay. Um, what do you want, Toby? You okay? You cool? The sofa for the third. I already heard that. So what, what did that do for me? What was even the point of silver? I uh, searched the archives for the 19, 1893 thing with Sir... What's his face? Uh, Bancliff's mummy. Great excavation in Asawan has taken over three years. Sir Rodney Bancliff directed the archaeological work. A mummy was found with an inuliculated eye. Imposed in a, that's what is that what happened to Sir Redcliffe? Imposed in an unusual position. The right hand was tensed, as if reaching out for something at, or out to someone. The mummy was buried upright. So when so she has been named the Desperate Mummy due to her very particular or peculiar characteristics. <sighs> Nearby could be read in Latin. By the eye, he was punished for if he saw that he was not worthy. The mummy is believed to be Roman rather than Egyptian, as some symbols found in the tomb are in common with the mithraic mysteries. Mithraic mysteries. Here it is. By the eye he was punished, for he saw that he was not worthy. Dreadful. Dreadful. Very. Ah. Uh, loudness. All right. I'm leaving here. Right. Yeah, I'm piecing. Later, skater. Now we can go question those fools.
Um, left side. There we go. Boop. Boop. I'll go left. I'll go from left to right. Mr. Gala, what's up? So Rodney East, dead. Can't we speak about it somewhere else? I'm in shock. I don't want to talk. It's horrible. I can't talk at the moment. What if I turn this steam on? Steam is special with Seattle. I see Seattle. With the steam on, I'm unable to see even a few feet away. Nothing special with them. Officer. I'll leave when the steam's on. No, I can't. Is that all I can do? Anything else? Alright. Go ahead and do that. I already examined these thoroughly, I think. Nope, take less. Are for myopia. The wearer is short sighted. Okay. Anything else? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Police Man. Any of these people were closest? Belonging to one of the sus Yeah, whatever. Alright. Talk to, um... No one, apparently. Mr. Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? None. Um... Mr. Glass, so... Has the blood on his towel, so... No objectives. None, Lestrade. Is them in belongings. Alright, that'll be taken. Was that taken to... Um... Yeah, they were taken to Scotland Yard. All these you. events are bad for the baths. And my job. Yeah, so who cares about your job? Scotland Yard. Girl hopping, girl go hopping. Oh, baby. I'm like alive. I think I went live at three. I've been going. I've been live for five and a half hours. I was planning on actually finishing this thing completely. I didn't know it was gonna be like this long though. Let's do like one stream of this. I might just finish this all tomorrow and just play Divinity after this. Unless, this, unless that railroad one was like really sh like long for some reason. All the other ones are short. It's a possibility. An embroidered Jeff. silk handkerchief. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. Is it in card? <gasps> okay. Sir Gregory Pitkin. Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. Everything there. Like horn. Letter. Sir Gregory. Uh, sir Gregory uh, Pitkin, manager to Mr. Blinkhorn. Dear sir, the interests that I uh, represent require the situation of the baths to be changed for the better. At this present time, the frigidarium excavations remain under your direction, um, and yet the works have not progressed. You have failed to find anything value, of value, and we are unable to make the frigidarium accessible to the public. The frigidarium is a valuable asset in the reaction of the Roman Beth experience. I urge you to complete your work within the next two months. You have the remaining... Where was I? You have the remaining time to include your archaeological research and to find yourself another workplace. <gasps> Get him out. And this pencil. An ordinary pencil. I missed someone. Oh, Garrows. Ben Cliff's belongings. This ring. ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. Oh.
or old symbol. Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. That it? Oh. I see the join. This ring was repaired and quite badly too, with silver. Why on uh -oh. earth would they wear such a ring? A uh -oh. very pertinent question. Uh oh. Coin. An old and rather dirty coin. A hand drawn map. I read the map, please. Oh, I missed the diary. What am I doing? Or no book, whatever. Rodney Bankliff. That's, that's a diary, right? Get out of here. Contain something of interest. Missing the page. Last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir <clears throat> Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. Thank you, Rodney. To begin with, a few Whatever. strokes of the pencil will be enough. Shut. I use you, please. Okay. Um, did you finish the first case? Okay, I see you coming. Can't read it. And then to gently smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. Yeah, Watson. <laughs> history today, I almost found it. The date will go down in history. Mr. Holmes, the coroner had... But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence? I prefer to make them talk. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I I'm gonna resolve, sure dude. You must, constable. No. The right eyeball has been burst, pierced through the hilt by a curved blade knife. The blade cut through the orbit of the frontal bone, ripping a part of the frontal lobe and the corp uh, corpus callosum. After which, completing its trajectory in the uh, cerebellum, caused hemorrhagic, remember, f hemorr uh, hemorrhagic uh, lesions. All these injuries led directly to the death of the individual at the upper lobe of the right lung. There is an old injury filled with an amount of mucus and silated debris that has correspond debris has corresponded to the chronic infection by elements likely inhaled in a burial, ch a burial chamber a decaying mummy, for example, or a dried and decomposing food product intended to accompany the disease at their grave. The remainder of the body does not appear to have been damaged. Okay. And look at this stuff. When the detail. Dad found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. And drug viral. A phial with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's wort flower, Holmes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. Okay. Everything down here. I did that already. All right. All these things for dialogue. Okay. I go view the body myself again. I can examine. According to the coroner, there were no cardiac problems nor lung congestion, but there were traces of fungus. 
possibly contracted from the Egyptian tombs. Can we go lower? The coroner observed no stomach nor liver disease, if we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasional drinker and 63 years of age. Can't go any lower. All right. An unusual wound, inflicted by a curved knife, or a spoon. which resulted in instant death, as the coroner's report says. That might be everything out of our tape. Oh god. Bend. Some light bruising caused by a rope. The bruising is in lines. They were caused by a rope around the waist. Sir Rodney was descending somewhere. Alright, that's everything. Um, anything else around here? Thing. Okay. Yo, what up? Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Good day to you too. All right, what's up, bro? Good day to you, Sir Gregory. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I fancy this I'm dude assisting is. the police with their investigation of the murder that took place this morning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell me, Mr. Holmes, will I need to stay here for very much longer? Um, are you down? He did it. Guarantee. I don't like the way he looks. Reminds me of that one dude from Two and a Half Men. Huge ears. Ring. Gold chain. Cashmere. Oh god. Miss something? His look. Yeah, I, I can see it says look. Arrogant look. Your profession. You are the manager of the baths, is that correct? Yes. I'm passionate about archaeology. I wanted to restore the ruins. My ambition is to open the baths to the public. Living archaeology can be a profitable business, although now I'm not so sure. I see. When do you wish to begin using the baths? When the archaeological researches are over, I will be free to complete the restoration. It is the usual process. Sir Rodney. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney Bentcliffe? You were not particularly close. He had an unpleasant temperament. Suspicious. Authoritarian. Unkind. People possessed by genius may be forgiven for their nature, but not by me. Was he obstructive? Not at all. Everything he did led us to greater success. He helped us increase the potential of the building. The murder? Please tell me what happened this morning. The test that we performed this morning was a success. The steam was working well. But then, of course, that awful murder. What did you see? The steam was too thick to see anything. But ask Garrow. He saw the body first. Recent unusual event. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Look, I'm not a suspicious fellow. But I think that he had professional interests elsewhere that he did not wish us to know about. Why should you think that? Where? I have no idea. But after all, it was not my business. Your work? How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather slowly, I would say. Um, what were they talking about? Sir Gregory, could you please explain this letter? You expressed the wish to call off the research work at the baths. It was all about Blinkhorn. He was merrily digging away and taking very little care about it, ruining everything and finding nothing of any value. But the arrival of Sir Rodney changed your mind? Sir Rodney's work was extremely promising, 
and it was good for the bar's publicity. So yes, I changed my mind. Are you aware that Mr. Garrow is under a form of medication? Garrow? No. But I never liked that parasite. Do you believe him to be capable of murder? Well, he did have blood on him. Does that make him a murderer? Melted silver. Some melted silver was found inside the steam room brazier. Do you know where it came from? Silver? No. Okay, effective arrival. Um, Get the fuck! Begins flight. Um, the coin to work was saved by the arrival of Sir Randy, but a high cause. Who is morale? Blink Horn's work was saved by the arrival of Sir Rodney. He was thankful for the possibility of them working together. Tens of learning from them. I really don't remember. Okay. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Uh, not at all, Mr. Holmes. Uh, my name is Percival Blinkhorn. Let me are you up. Assertive. Focus look attentive. Alright. Not shabby. We're not wealthy. And not wealthy. Earthwork. Callous. <clears throat> Profession. What is your occupation? I'm an archaeologist, specializing in the Roman period. I'm working on several excavation sites at present, including the baths at Strand Lane. Hmm. Can you tell me more about the baths? Well, we're hoping to retrieve a great many interesting artifacts from the site, and to list any items of value before their eventual restoration and exhibition. And has it been successful? It has, thanks to Sir Rodney. Sir Rodney. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney? Well, I couldn't say that he was a kind man, no. Uh, but he was talented. I felt a great admiration for him, I, I must say. Was it your first collaboration? I had met Sir Rodney briefly once in Egypt, and I'd shared my researches with him. Uh, surprisingly, my work did convince him to come here. He arrived only a couple of months ago. Surprisingly? Well, Sir Rodney is, uh, was, uh, God, a cold man, and so very secretive, too. But I learned so much from him. I can't believe that he's dead. Uh, what did you see? Can you tell me what you saw today? Well, we entered the steam room, and we all went to sit down. Uh, the steam was particularly dense, and I didn't see anything much further after that. I just heard Mr. Garrow shouting. We all ran for the door and bumped into each other. I was very alarmed by this point. What did you do? Well, the door was stuck, and with all the steam, it was quite frightening. I was barely able to see my own feet. Garrow was covered in blood. Do you believe that Garrow killed Sir Rodney? Oh, no. Garrow couldn't harm a fly. Anything unusual? Can you recall any recent event that would occur to you now as being a little strange? Well, yesterday we had a small argument. Is that all? 
No. Sir Rodney informed me that he was to attend the London Archaeological Congress with me. Then he advised me of quite the opposite. And rather aggressively, too. Bring. Do you recognize this ring? Uh, certainly. It's the famous Aswan ring. Sir Rodney brought it back from his last campaign in Egypt. And he kept it for himself? Sir Rodney has uh, had his own particular ideas of archaeology. Drug. What can you tell me about Garrow? Well, he always looks so sad. And uh, he has been acting strangely lately. He complains about voices and visions. I will keep an eye on him because I'm worried. Your work? How well were your researchers progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather well. Uh, pick his letter? This letter reveals that Sir Gregory was prepared to put a stop to your work. Uh, yes. But since Sir Rodney's arrival, he had calmed down. He allowed us to work. Uh, I'm not sure what they agreed on. Hmm. What will happen now that Sir Rodney is dead? Well, I haven't thought about that. Uh, but if it's needed, I will fight to defend Sir Rodney's expectations. Melted silver. We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? No. Silver, you say? No, I don't know how it got there. Mr. Gallo, Please Aguero. escort this suspect for interrogation. That dude, I've seen the dude like three times already, the dude in the background. That's this harmonica, dude. A good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Ah, uh, uh, I am Tristram Garrow. What up, boo-boo? Barely shaven. The gears. Stupid looking eyes. Terrible haircut. Chapped lips. Poorly clothed. Dressed. Stupid, um, amulet. Based only a mother could love. Anything else I missed? Crow's feet. Um, finish 15 character observations without skipping. Your profession. What is your occupation? I, I am a councillor at the uh, district chamber. And what were you doing at the baths? Well, I, I follow the researchers. I am uh, I interested in, in archaeology. You follow them? Yes. So many things happened and w we need to know. Or perhaps it's better hidden. I beg your pardon, Mr. Garrow. I, uh, I, I meant nothing but by that. I, I apologize. Sir Rodney. What was it like to work with Sir Rodney? It was like uh, working w with a genius. He was a hard man. But then, you, you know, this world is hard. There are always people who want to steal from you. And he, uh, he, he trusted me, but, uh, oh. Are you feeling unwell? Oh, I'm sorry. He is I. Oh, I remember. Oh, I, I feel so sorry. Do you need anything? I, uh, I, I, I feel bad. I, um, I, I hear... No, nothing. I, 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 I'm better now. The murder. Please try to recall what you saw today. The room was so, so hot, I, I had to remove my glasses. I was not feeling so very well I in there. But you found the body. I saw the knife, you know, flying through the air. I, I, I saw the blood. I tried to escape. I, I don't remember. Saw the knife? What did it look like? Everything was as if I in a nightmare. It all happened so fast. The knife was, was shining li like gold. Recent unusual event? Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Well, he, he had been rather secretive these past few days. Last Thursday, for, for example, I, I saw him leave. 
when he returned, it, it was very late. He showed me some wet coins, Roman coins, and uh, he started to laugh. Um, ring. His ring. Oh, it should be destroyed. Why do you say that? It is a cursed ring. Digging dark secrets. Really? I, uh, it is after me now. I know it. Uh, I shouldn't have worked on it in the workshop. It's too late now. Old coin. This is the coin that, that he showed me. It is from the third century. It must be very rare. No, I... I, I, I don't know. Drug. Thank you. Thank you. This will help me to calm down. Do be careful with the dosage. I, I will. I mean it. Melted silver? We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? It didn't help. The power is too strong. Garrow appears to be rather mentally disturbed. Either that, or he is a good actor. All right. Oh my god, what happened here? Server on needs to lie. He lied? What did he lie about? I don't remember that. He was lying to everyone about his work. He was working alone and secretly. Um. Oh no. Stolen notes. Why would Sir Roundy be hiding anything? Could his discovery be the motive for the crime? Possibility. Find out where Sir Roundy's was several days before this murder and uncover its precious secret. He was probably inside the frozen place. Why'd I go send some people to go dig dig? Strange wound, garage drug, broken glasses. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. An item, an item of silver has been recently melted in the uh, brazier. Okay. No, go back to this. Lose. So, side, no. Go away. No. 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 Okay. I think he was upset. So, humiliation. Okay. Locked. Locked. So, am I going back? Search the map. All right, I'm going to go back to the um my crib. Find the missing weapon that was used to kill Sir Ronnie Bencliffe. What important discovery was Sir Ronnie about to make? Oh my god, my throat's killing me. There's the crime scene in the area of the Strand Lane Baths. <coughs> Just write something here. What is the arrow pointing up? I don't, I don't know. Alright. Map. I gotta remove that. That's bothering me. Get that out of here. Alright. To Baker Street. <coughs> You know what, I might just finish the metal stream again tonight. <clears throat> My throat is killing me. Rest up for tomorrow. I want to finish this tomorrow. Definitely. And I might still do, um, what's it called? The one game I was talking about. Oh yeah, Divinity. I really want to finish that game. I'm only 25% done it though. Alright. Where do I go ahead and learn this stuff? Letters take. The power of an empire is growing stronger day by day. As of yesterday, the Mexican consortism, Caracal, is beginning to survey the cause of the British Empire. The arrangement is undeniably profitable for London and England overall, and is a great achievement for our exponential diplomatic and political community. Another news, a train has mysteriously disappeared en route to Amsterdam railway station. Hello, Mr. Holmes. I'm so grateful that a great detective such as yourself could also possess such a kind heart. Thank you for your decision regarding Liam Hartley. Oh, God. 
A dear friend of mine and the murderer of my husband, Peter Carey. I am sure that Mr. Hurley had no other choice. He killed accidentally and clearly in self-defense. You have my deepest appreciation from the bottom of my heart. She did it. She killed the fuck. This is where I keep my post. It was all her. The map. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Hold on, I got an email. Two emails. Uh oh. I don't want to follow anyone on Twitter. Get that out of here. All right. I think there's a river or something. A bit. Can I go left and right? I can. This it. Oh. Watson, pack your bag. We are visiting a location in St. Albans, marked on Sir Rodney's map. St. Albans. Okay. I'm going to go to Strand. Now I'm going to go to St. Albans first. <clears throat> What's up, Watson? Love the dew. I don't got a lot of things to watch. I don't have a lot of things to watch. Get out of here. I got three. Continue. I got a level one that doesn't update. It's fantastic. Okay. Where was I? Site to close itself for the notice. This archaeological Not on my watch. site has been abandoned. Why did Bentcliff come here? Open up, yo. Oh, right here. Wait, was that they can they do it by itself or is that me doing it? Nah, I guess I did it somehow. I don't know. I didn't press the right bumper, but whatever floats your boat game. Anything in here? This the map. is the map of the site. We are at the heart of an old Roman city. <gasps> Um, numbers, 1738. So much reading. Followers of Mithras were convert, worshipping more conventional deities such as Juno and Neptune in their everyday lives. Mithras temples were usually found below the templates. <clears throat> the temples of other gods, Mithras followers often refer to their traditional deities to gain passage to the Mithrarium. The example of the Mithrarium of Doyo in France is interesting, as the entrance was located beneath a carved statue of Dinah. The entrance was possibly revealed by a clever stone and rope mechanism, which may never have been discovered if the water infiltration had not destroyed the mechanism, opening the way down to the Mithrarium. Mithraic temples can be found in Rome, Ostia, Numidia, Dalmatia, Britain, and along the Rhine Dun uh, Danube frontier. While being somewhat less common in Greece, Egypt, and Syria. Okay. Shelf. Examine. The documents. More reading. Fantastic. And the empty coconuts that they use to imitate the sounds of horses' hooves. Another strange vital ritual for the old gods to keep the evil spirits away. The people feeling that the dark eye was upon them would melt their valuables in the fire. <clears throat> Subterranean tribes burn fruits, and the rich Roman families spare no expense, melting silver or tin. It is now recorded if such valuable offerings were thrown away with the ashes, or if they were re reused at a later date. Nothing else there. Alright, what's over here? More documents. Nice. Another two pages. The knife was used by Mithras for the Tariotani, the sacrifice of the bull. It's originally a curved sacrificial blade up ooh, Persian origin. Its curve can be from 5 to 15 degrees. Name is derived from the Persian Shamir, uh, Shamshir, which means sword. This radically curved sword family includes the Shashmir, uh, Skimitar, Talwar, Galiji, uh, Pulwar, and Mongol cyber, uh, saber. A myth of the golden life is the, uh, the key to the Mithraic mysteries. That's some um, described as the equivalent 
um, to the Holy Grail. Golden Knife carries a curse that will spill the blood of the unworthy. He will dare touch it. What's up, cubes? Okay. And more documents. Fantastic. The cult of Mithras was a mysterious religion practiced within the Roman Empire from around the 1st to 4th century AD. Name of the Parisian god Mithra, adapted by the Greek god Mithras, was linked with a new and distinctive imagery. Worshippers of Mithras has a complex system of seven grades of initiation with ritualist, ritualistic meals. Initiates would meal, meet in the underground temples called Mithraria that were retained in large numbers. The iconic senses of Mithras show him as being born from the rock and slaughtering a bull. Chariotani. Okay. Nothing else here? Okay. Got some. Uh, chemistry analysis. Dialogue. To be had. So there's the excavation site. The document. Fantastic. Never mind. I didn't read that one. Okay. Gibarium. Cyclops. Pestilinium. Alright. The guy that would have Tricillium is. Francesco. Vulcan. Vulcan. The god of fire and metalworking. Reminds me of the old dude from Dark Souls. Uh, Cyclops. Cyclops. Reminds me, I gotta change my notepad. At the forge. I only put Dark Souls 1. I'm gonna change it to Dark Souls 2. Scholar of the First Flame. Open. This is how I choose to play my games. I just randomize. I'll see something new. Dark Souls 2. Um, SEO Scholar. I, I think it's Scholar of the First Flame. I'll put as Scholar of the First Flame. Soft. It says TOF. Color of the Flame. I don't remember what it was. Alright, but let me save that. Save. Alright, I got 70 games I'd like to re-roll through. Uh, I got 70 games installed right now. I couldn't install more. I don't need the ropes. <sighs> I do. I'm going exploring. Alright, let's go down. Oh god, I'm actually going to go down. No, we're not going down, alright. Okay, some tools. Take that, examine this. Tools, a bucket, shovel, and brush. Cool. I'm streaming. Okay, it's now been six hours for this game. I guess it's about 12 hours to finish this game. It's about right. I wasted like another extra half hour at the end of the um, last one. Not really doing anything. Anything else around here? No. Construction hooks. Yep. Nice. Neptune, the god of the sea. There were these. It is a statue of never a horse. It is a broken bull. statue of a bull. Board. The this map is the map of the site. That's loud. We are at the heart of an old Roman city. And the, the cinematic shots were used with ropes and hooks for sieges. Oh, I should watch the show. That was like only six episodes a season. Two seasons out, but I should really watch it. Shelves. It's been like my Netflix list for like I think a year now to watch it. Reports. Oh god, what did I do? What is it? Dear Lord Blackmore, the manager of the baths, Sir Gregory Pitkin, was quite a nuisance at the start when I arrived. After you stepped in, he became rather more helpful. Occasionally, people of his rank are not well suited to the work of such great magnitude. Like the necessary vision. In a few weeks' time, I hope to bring good news of the Strandland baths. 